What's up guys, welcome to More Driven where we talk all things gig work. And today in this video, I'm going to be going over how to file your taxes as an Uber driver for the years 2023 through 2024. So just a disclaimer at the beginning of this video, I am not a tax professional in any way. So this is not financial advice, but I've been a DoorDash driver for almost six years now. I've been an Uber Eats driver for a couple of years, and then I've been doing Uber and Lyft now for a year as well. So I know the ins and outs of how to file your taxes. So I'm just giving you guys my personal experience of what I've found and how I've gone about filing my taxes. So I'm going to be going over a couple of different things in this video. First thing we need to know before we get into anything else is the vocabulary terms of filing your taxes. Because when you're self-employed, there are some things that you need to know of. So the first thing you need to know is how much you made in total in the year 2023 from Uber. So I'm just going with a nice easy round number and I'm going to say I made $40,000 last year from Uber. It just makes the math nice and easy. I feel like that's an average amount you can make if you did it full time last year. So that's the first thing you need to figure out. The next thing you need to figure out is how many miles you drove. So your total miles driven. And once again, I am just using a generic number. This is not my real numbers for the year. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to say I drove 45,000 miles last year to make that $40,000. So you have the total amount you made in 2023 and then you have the total miles you drove. The next thing you need to know is the standard mileage deduction for the year 2023, which was 65 and a half cents per mile you drove. So once you figure out those three things, you can just plug and play into this formula that I've created. And I guess it's not really that I've created, it's just the formula on how you file your taxes. So after I go over this, I'm actually going to go into some tools that make it way easier and you don't have to do all of this on your own, but I think it's good to know this formula and plug and play yourself, just so you know a ballpark number throughout the year of how much you should be saving towards taxes. But there are tools that just do this for you and it makes it super easy. So I'll be going over those after I go over this. Two things I forgot to mention is that the tax rate for this year actually went up and it is 67 cents per mile. So we'll be getting an even bigger tax write-off for 2024. And then also you don't have to use the standard mileage deduction to get your write-offs, which means you would write off every single expense that you had pertaining to Uber. So that would be gas, any car maintenance, anything like that that you paid for, you could write that off instead. But I've come to find out that using the standard mileage deduction saves you way more money. And every time for me, it's been more worth it to do the standard mileage deduction rather than the itemized deduction. But anyway, now that you have all those numbers, you can just plug and play into this formula. And the formula is you take the miles you drove and you multiply that by the standard mileage deduction rate of 0.655 and that equals your total write-offs that you get. You take the total number you made in 2023, and then you subtract your write-off total. That will give you your taxable income. After that, you take your taxable income and you multiply that by your tax rate, which is the federal tax rate plus your state income tax rate plus the self-employed tax rate, and that equals your taxes owed. So for the numbers I'm using for the purposes of this video, it would go something like this. Since I drove 45,000 miles in 2023, I would take 45,000 and multiply it by 0.655, and that would equal $29,475 and that is the total amount of write-offs I get. So then I take that number and I subtract it from that $40,000 that I made for the year, and that gets me $10,525, and that is my taxable income. That's the money I have to pay taxes on. So then you take your taxable income, which for me, $10,525, and you multiply it by the tax rate, which for me, because I live in the state of Utah and because I am married, my tax rate equals 29.95% or 0.2995 in terms of the multiplication problem. So I multiply $10,525 times 0.2995 and that gets me to $3,152.24 is what I would owe on taxes. And that is in terms of these numbers I'm using for the video. So the way I got that 0.2995 tax rate for myself is because for the federal taxes, you can actually just go online and look this up. They have it on irs.gov and, or you can just Google it and you can find the tax brackets. So for me, I am married filing jointly. So my tax bracket is a little bit different than if you're single. And so you can look right here and it says from $0 to $20,550 of your taxable income I have to pay 10%. So I have 10% right there. And then I have to add in 
the 15.3% self-employed tax, which is just a blanket tax rate that you have to pay if you're self-employed because it covers Social Security and Medicare. And unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to get around that. And so that gets me to 25.3% that I'll pay in taxes. But you also have to file your state income tax, which for the state of Utah, it is 4.65%. So I add all those together and I get 29.95% or 0.2995. So you can just Google all of those things, Google your state income tax, Google the federal income tax brackets for 2023, see which one you fall into, and then just add the self-employment tax. And that's how you get that tax rate. So if you're doing your taxes alone, that's how you would do it essentially, but you always wanna file with an accountant or with an accountant service, like the ones I'm about to get into right now. So this is actually the first year you can file your taxes with Solo. The Solo app makes it super easy this year. So if you've been tracking your stuff through them for the whole year, then it's going to be even easier. But even if you didn't track all your stuff and you haven't even downloaded the app yet, you can still file through them and they make it super easy. So if you don't know what Solo is, they're just a great app to use if you're a gig worker because they just have a bunch of tools to help you as an Uber driver or whatever other apps you're using. So once you sign up for the app, just on the home screen, they will have a file your taxes little tab that you can click on. So they've partnered with tax experts at Column so that you can just quickly file your taxes. And if you tracked your expenses with Solo, they'll just pre-fill in your tax forms. And if you have income from other jobs, you can also add that in as well. And this service is free for the Pro and Pro Plus subscribers. So if you're paying $15 a month or the $20 a month pass, then you get this for free. So that is well worth it because what I've done every single year is I've just used TurboTax. They make it super easy as well, but to file for self-employed taxes, I think it's like $250 you have to pay, or maybe even 300 you have to pay to use TurboTax self-employed. So this is way cheaper. You just pay 15 or $20 a month and you get this service for free. So it is a great tool. It makes it so you don't have to do all of this math that I just did in this video. So you can use that or you can use TurboTax like I've done for the past few years because Solo didn't have this feature yet. And TurboTax is the same thing. You don't have to do any of this math yourself. You just submit your 1099 form or your W-9 form, whichever one it is, I can't remember which one Uber sends you. You just submit that into TurboTax and they make it super easy. So either one of those, but I just recommend Solo because it's way cheaper. So if you want to use Solo, then I have the link for you down below in the description. And when you use that link, you'll get a bonus $10 upon sign up anyway. So really you're getting this tax file service for only five or ten dollars because you'll get that ten dollar bonus when you sign up so it's there in the description if you want to use it but anyways there you guys have it that is how you file your taxes as an uber driver and like i said i am not an accountant this is not financial advice, but this is how I've done it over the years. And this is the formula I've used. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.